everyone. I am Maya Tayag from St. Peter Damien, your presenter for today. Before I start my presentation, let me ask you one question. When someone asks to tell your favorite artist, who will it be? Maybe the first artist who will come up to your mind is William Shakespeare, which is really a good poet and known for his works like Romeo and Juliet. Or maybe you would say Leonardo da Vinci, who painted the Mona Lisa. Or is it Vincent van Gogh, Pablo Picasso, or Michelangelo? It seems like we are bound by these foreign artists and barely knew our own homegrown artists. I think this is the time to encounter some of them and acknowledge their works. Please lend your ears as I present to you one of the gems of our country. Our presentation for today is about Lucrecia Casilan, a Filipino music composer who became a national artist. We will also tackle her major masterpieces and her contribution to Philippine art. Lucrecia Rosas Casilag was an educator, composer, pianist, and performer, which is particularly known for incorporating indigenous Filipino instruments into orchestral productions as she involved herself wholly in sharpening the Filipino audience's appreciation of music. Now, let us dig more into her history. Lucrecia was fondly known as Tita King. She was born on August 31, 1918 in San Fernando, La Union and then grew up in Paco, Manila. At the young age, playing a variety of instruments such as piano, Hawaiian guitar, violin, and having solfege lessons, her early life was imbued with music. Did you know that one of the first instruments she learned to play was banduria? With her siblings, they were thought of by their mother and then later on formed a group named Casila Grandalia. She excelled in academics as well. She graduated as valedictorian from the Paco Elementary School and from the Philippine Women's University High School. She finished cum laude with the Bachelor of Arts major in English at the same university. After college, she did not stop in studying. Here are her other academic achievements from different trainings and seminars. She became a student of Sister Baptista Batig, St. Scholastica's College, 1939, and received a music teacher's diploma. She finished her Bachelor of Music degree at the Philippine Women's University. She obtained her Master of Music degree, major in theory and minor in composition at the Eastman School of Music, University of Rochester in New York. She was conferred honorary doctorate degrees by the Centro Escolar University, the Philippine Women's University, and the St. John University in New York in 1981. She is credited for having written more than 350 musical compositions covering most genres including orchestra, chamber, organ, piano, vocal, sacred, operetta, dance, theater, electronic, and incidental music. Among her major works are Toccata for Percussion and Winds 1959, which mixes Philippine percussion instruments such as drums and gongs with Western wind instruments receive the Republic Cultural Heritage Award in music in 1960. Divertisement and Concertante in 1960, compositions for piano and orchestra combining Western and Eastern forms, harmonies, and intervals. The Legend of Sarimanok in 1963, composed for chamber orchestra and Philippine ethnic instruments. And lastly, the Dula Rawan in 1969, a musical drama combining a dance solo with a chorus and an ethnic orchestra. Due to her unending love for music, numerous works and achievements, 
she was recognized as a national artist for music in 1989. Kasilag's piano composition style encompassed different compositional techniques like multimeters and bitonality, chords with intervals of seconds and fifths, placing accents on weak parts of the measure, and rhythmic patterns including triplets and dotted rhymes of particular figures, which other contemporary composers utilized. The melodies were quite simple and usually of Philippine origin or other Asian and Eastern music provenance consisting of quartal and quintal harmonies. These compositional techniques and aspects created the fabric of Casillac's compositions, blending Eastern and Western influences in her music as well. She was able to create distinctive music with her creativity and skill of combining the two influences. Her compositions with the incorporation of native instruments leave a lasting impression of the indigenous and ethnic. Lastly, let us summarize her contribution to the Philippine contemporary art. Aside from her hundreds of works, she reinforced the Filipinos' appreciation of music by fusing Western influences into Philippine ethnic music. She dared to incorporate indigenous Filipino instruments in orchestral productions. Being the first lady of Philippine music, she was considered an embodiment of Filipino music because she was able to leave out the characteristics that highlight a certain uniqueness and impact brought by a Filipino musician. More than that, as a Filipino, she was able to show excellence and act based on a genuine love for music and the country.